Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1904 halfpenny coin, the coin we see on screen now. First I'll talk about the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here is the reverse design and it was done by Leonard Charles Wine. It depicts Lady Britannia there with the shield to her side bearing the Union flag and holding the trident up to the sky proudly in the air with the helmet and draped clothing. Behind her is the sea as Britannia rules the waves. To the left and right are the words half penny in capitals, giving us the denomination and value of the coin within change of half a penny, and below her is the date of the coin when it was made in 1904. Around the edge and rim of the coin there's a little teeth, milling or beads. Now these are all there as a measure to prevent the coin from being clipped or shaved and metal content being stolen from the coin, which is illegal. This is important on this coin as all bronze coins from the era, as they had no milling on the edge, no reading on the edge, so the milling on the obverse and reverse were more important. Now then, moving on to the obverse of the coin, we can see the portrait of King Edward VII. Facing to the right, uncrowned with no laureate, his portrait done by George William de Sauls, the initials DLS for de Sauls can be seen there below the king's portrait. There is a nice long legend around him in abbreviated Latin and reads Edwardus, seven, de gra, Brit, om, rex, fid, death, in im. This then translates to in English, Edward VII, by the grace of God, king of all the Britons, defender of the faith, and emperor of India. All of his titles as monarch, and emperor across the world and the empire at the time. This was the only portrait of the king used during his reign on British coins, as he only had a short reign, so never had an updated portrait. Now then, moving on from the design to the facts and figures of the 1904 halfpenny piece. A coin minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of an alloy of bronze, 97% copper, 2.5% zinc, and 0.5% tin, all making up the alloy of bronze this coin is made out of, the same as the farthing and halfpenny of the same time. The weight of the coin is 5.65 grams, and so is a medium sort of average weight for the time of coins and change, with a diameter of 25 millimeters, so there'll be coins that are smaller and bigger, an average size coin to be spending and using back in the day. A mintage of 8,131,200, meaning 1904 is a slightly rarer date for the Edwardian halfpennies, but nothing too rare or scarce at all, that would make it hard to find. A halfpenny coin is of course worth one half of a penny, this is then 1 24th of a shilling and 1 480th of a pound sterling, back under the pre-decimal money system. And back in 1904, a half penny was equal to 32 pence today. So while half penny seems like a very, very small denomination, it was still a small, you know, small change denomination at the time, but a few of them only would have a pound of buying power today. And the coin was then demonetized in 1969 in the run up to decimalization, happening a few years later. So there we go. But what is the value of a coin now to a collector? Let's find out. In poor condition, it was sold for around one pound. Fine condition, £10, extremely fine, £55, and £125 in uncirculated grade with no wear marks or damage on the coin. So a nice range of prices there, in high grade can command quite a premium, but still at a lower grade and affordable and cheap coin to add to your collection if you need it. And if you already have a 1904 half penny in your collection, then please do comment down below and let us know. Please as well do subscribe, as it means a lot and will help out the channel no end. Thank you for watching to the very end of the video, that means a lot as well, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on the Bits and Bobs channel. See you then, bye!